Hello there, here is a video on a script I was working on before I had some technical difficulties. I had some serious problems here with my computer, but uh, it's more or less back together again, and I have no idea who was interested in this or what, but it's a very simple, straightforward, and useful routine, so I thought I'd make a video of it here. Uh, this guy right here has a s script in it that uh, works on the dialogue option event and he gets my UUID puts it in a variable uh, stores that in a stored data and then he reads makes sure I read the dialogue there's only one dialogue so to read so and then he unreads it I just like to do that to keep things clean then he checks which slot has been selected the first slot, which is slot 0, he will spawn a dragon. The second one, which is 1, he will do nothing. So, let's just get right to it. If I say OK, well, wait a second. You can see the dragon will be spawned above us here. If I say OK, there's the dragon. And then he will pick me up as a rider. He will say, um, I can take you for a ride. Hang on. You probably didn't see that because I've got these coordinates running in the dialog right here. And that's to uh, really just for testing purposes and to show you that um, um, what I have here is that he will drop me off at a range of coordinates. It's a, there's a range in the X, Y, and Z. And so he drops me off and he, he despawns then and that's it. So if you look at the script I've got a range here. There's a, a range of three blocks in each dimension. So from negative 175 to negative 173, 70 to 73, uh, I guess that's four, and then negative one to one. So, and the reason I do that is because in the tick function, um, it runs every 10 ticks, which is a half a second, and you would think that you could catch a block um, in that amount of time, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes he, if you picked 175, 70, and negative 1, it might be uh, when this function runs, he might be to 0 and not to negative 1, or he might be at um, 71 altitude, he might be at negative 75, 71, negative 1. So this is kind of a fail-safe way of doing it. Um, that's way uh, it, it catches his position usually and, and usually you're able to do this um, flight is a little more difficult in general if he was moving path on the ground it would be a lot simpler to he would be only moving in typically one direction or at most two so that's what that does it just once I get that position he will drop me off and this timer it, is run when he picks me up and it just changes his moving path type gets my um, UUID from the dialog that was saved in the stored data and adds me as a writer there sets his moving path all this right here is just setting his moving path using NBT the uh, data functions right there so that's all there is to it and um, I thought it could be useful you could unlock that after a quest or you could have it um, different dialogues could take you different places so this dragon right here is just for testing purposes I just had him uh, testing the different coordinates so thanks for watching I'll be making more videos here in the near future I'll see ya bye